Hi there, I'm Lindsay, the Frugal Crafter, and you're watching Home and Garden for Mere Mortals. Today I'm going to show you how to decorate your porch for fall. It's quick and easy, and I'll share some money-saving tips, as well as how to make your very own foam mercury glass vase and candle holders. So let's get started. First, let's start by making our faux mercury glass vase and candle holders. It's super easy. Just make sure you're using old glass jars and vases that you don't intend to want to get back to the original look again because this will permanently alter your vase. You're gonna need gold and silver spray paint and a spray bottle full of vinegar for this technique. Before you begin, make sure you clean and dry off your vases and jars. Then you want to spray them with your choice of gold or silver spray paint. Then while the paint is still wet, you want to spritz on some vinegar from a spray bottle. That's going to give it the model drippy appearance of mercury glass. You can work on the inside or the outside of the vase. I like to work on the outsides of vases that I'm gonna put water in and on the insides of vases or jars that I think I might need to wash the outsides. But actually, I ended up using both sides of the glass to give it a more interesting look. You can see that you could see silver and gold on some of these. Well, I did this by using the contrasting color on the inside of the vase or candle holder. I thought it really gave it a more complex and interesting and uh, kind of vintage festive look, but you can do whatever you prefer. After the paint is dry, you can begin to decorate. What I'm using here are some berry garland that was actually a Valentine's uh, clearance item that I picked up at the craft store. And the thing I found out about it was that the paint chipped and it had silver berries underneath. So I actually used that to my advantage. The silver and red look perfect with these um, other elements that I have going on. So I simply cut off a piece to fit and I'm wrapping the boughs around it and just twisting it to secure. These um, branches are wire on the inside, so they're really easy to conform around these jars. So you want to put it around the neck of each of the three jars that we're using for votive candles. I'm using a square plate that I already had as the base of my decoration. Then I'm placing in my three jars that I spray painted to make a pleasing um, arrangement. Votive tea lights will fit perfectly in each of these little jars and they'll be safe to burn in there. But if you're worried about a candle, you can use a battery operated kind. The dollar store has them or you can pick them up at any department store. Then I'm using peach and red flatback marbles to add a little sparkle to the tray and also keep the jars from moving around too much. It's super inexpensive. You can get those bags of marbles at the dollar store too and it just makes for a beautiful little display. In the vase, I simply put a few clusters of faux berries that I've had in my craft room for a couple of years that I picked up at clearance at a craft store. It's a very easy way to fill that vase, but you could also um, pick some wildflowers or cattails or um, branches of berries like I used on my porch. That would be equally as pretty in the vase. Use what you have or um, take a look around your backyard and see what you can find. The table I just showed you was on the porch. Now we're back and we're looking at the entire porch. I have this little uh, vignette here, a couple of hay bales, which really fills up a lot of space and mums. And that whiskey barrel is actually um, still carrying some of the flowers from the summer that haven't died. And then I added some silk flowers and a couple pumpkins and gourds to kind of fill it out, bring in some color. And I find if I add silk flowers along with real flowers, it really makes them look realistic. And you can see that bee in there. I think he's a little fool too with the fake and real flowers together. Speaking of fake flowers, if you look at that white pumpkin up at the top of the screen, there's like this um, wrapping of leaves around it. Well, this was one of the garlands I bought at the Dollar Tree the other day. I intended to wrap these around my banister on my porch, but they were a little too sparse and spindly looking once I got them on. You can kind of see how there's big gaps with no leaves. So I'm going to show you what I did for the banister to fill it out. I wrapped the garland around the railing, but then I found this bush out growing in my woods with these red berries on it and I took little clippings of the bush and tucked it in the garland and I wrapped uh, fishing wire around my banister so that it would hold those little pieces in and they wouldn't fall out and I could have that nice full look as you'll see in the main photo in a second. Don't feel like you have to do this all in one day either. Keep adding to it over a few days and you'll be surprised at how easily it all comes together. Use what you have, buy a few select items that make a big impact and have fun with it. I know you can do this. 
And that's all there is to it. It's easy to create a beautiful fall scape for your front porch. And it's pretty affordable too if you know how to mix things up to get the most bang for your buck. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my channel, The Frugal Crafter. I have a brand new video showing you how to um, upcycle a fireplace mantle and lots of other fun crafty goodness too. Don't forget to subscribe to Home and Garden for Mere Mortals for more fun crafty projects. And until next time, happy crafting.